Welcome back to our channel, Thrifty Day. Today I'm going to be doing a um, DIY page for some inspiration and to show you how to use um, postcards and postage stamps and whatnot on and inside your Magic Memory books or your scrapbooks. Um, so this one's mine. You all know my Magic Memory book. It's Disneyland. I'm still working on this one. Um, I collected a whole bunch of goodies to get started. Um, this is the postcard that this page was kind of um, inspired by. And the reason it is so special to me is because if you are on our Pen Pal newsletter list, you will be receiving one of these in the mail probably in the next week or so because we have over are you ready for this number? Over 200 people on our pen pal list right now. So that's a huge number and we're so excited, but it's also a lot of work. So this postcard is a collaboration I've done with Eliza Ryan Design. This is also her sticker. Um, she created this postcard and together we had them made. And so we can send out to you for our next pen pal newsletter. And so if you would love to do me a favor and follow Eliza Ryan Design because this is also gonna be um, for her. So let's get started. It's a postcard, we're starting with a postcard. I have lots of goodies. It's obviously gonna be very retro. There's a little hidden Mickey there. Um, sorry, I had to make the beep and stop. Little hidden Mickey. I have lots of little mail. My friend um, Adriana from Rex Creativity actually sent me some mail, so I'm going to use a little bit of what she sent in there. More pictures. Just lots of goodies. Um, I have this album. Now, obviously, this is not the album, but I made a photocopy of it because obviously I don't want to cut up my album to put in here. Um, but I just thought it was so perfect since we have a total 70s vibe kind of happening. I thought that having the 70s Mouseketeers in here would be great. So I'm gonna start with um, creating the base of my pages. I'm gonna do a full open page layout. Um, I already kind of made a general like sizing for my page. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that out. <clears throat> it doesn't need to be perfect. You can even eyeball it. Um, I talk a lot about how these books don't need to be perfect. They don't need to be straight lines. They don't need to be completely centered um, because these are your memories. They're not, they don't need to be perfect. This isn't just a perfect scrapbook. So you don't need to have a fancy paper cutter or anything. You can just kind of eyeball it, put them on here. Don't want all the trash. See, that's a little bit big. So I actually think I'm going to trim that down even further. Um, because I don't really need it to be the exact size of my page. That's not entirely necessary. Um, I just want it to be in the background. My goodness, it's still so big. Oh, mackerel. I really, thought I, I really thought I did something there with the sizing. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm gonna size it first. Yeah, no, I'm still, I'm still way off. I don't wanna cut him off, because look at how cute he is. Um, I really was like, look at that. I'm gonna size it first so I know where to cut. We're getting there it's a little crooked but that's okay like I said we're not trying to be perfect here we're just trying to have a cute background I'm gonna make it even smaller actually so let's see yeah see that's good I think it'll fit on there nicely maybe even a little less and um, so there so I'll put that as a background and you may not see all of it but I think it's cute that it's just even poking out so the next thing I'm going to do is the background for this page you know what let's go ahead and glue it down you could either use glue these are the different kinds of um, glue and adhesives I use I use craft bond for um, you know bigger pages or that don't use double stick tape I use double stick tape a lot you'll see that in my YouTubes I just like it it's sticks really well and it's super easy and not messy and then for precision tip necessities I use craft bond precision tip and I actually use that for this picture this is just a photograph I cut out around her and then I used this 
Elmer's Craft Bond, put glue on there and added glitter. So every now and then I will use a hot glue gun too for really stubborn kind of things. So I'm just gonna use double stick tape for this one because I just love double stick tape. It's forgiving, it's clean. You don't have to wait for it to dry. There's no wrinkles. The one thing about glue that I don't love is sometimes in really thin paper, um, ephemera especially, kind of like these thinner papers, sometimes it'll wrinkle if you use too much. And I don't really love that wrinkly kind of look. Whereas double stick tape, you just, you never have that. It's just ready to go. So yeah, I am, I am like the queen of double stick tape. They should be paying me, man, because <laughs> I really do love it. So, okay. So that's on there. I just kind of eyeballed it. It's not even perfect. Um, and that's okay. And these little strings are there because that's where the book is um, put together. And I think it's cute. I think it adds character. So let's move on to the next page. I love this image. And so I definitely want to use it in here. So I think what I'm going to do is move my book out of the way. I'm going to get a ruler because I don't want to cut the page, but I don't necessarily want it to have, like be perfect cut like scissors. I don't think that's necessary. I like that it looks a little um, rough around the edges. I told you, I'm just, I'm not about perfection. I don't, I don't enjoy that. To me, that's not interesting. I don't like perfect lines. I don't like, I don't know. I just, I think it's so much more interesting with things like this. So see, I guess I'll guess cut a little more by Goofy. So I use this technique a lot when I want things to look a little, um, a little more interesting. See, I'm going to save that because look at, oh my gosh, so cute. Let's see. Let's see if this is a good fit. Oh yeah, see, that's perfect. So see, now I'll put this right on there. You know what, though? I think I'm going to put some scrapbook paper on there first, though. Underneath. Yeah, for sure. So let's see. Let's do the same sort of technique with this, because the scrapbook paper is a little bit big. Um, but I do... I love the scrapbook paper. Many times, if you order a magic memory book from me, I include this gingham scrapbook paper, because... Um, oh my gosh, what is wrong? because I just love it. I think it looks very vintagey. I think it looks sweet. Um, I use it a lot in my scrapbooking, basically as a layer, not like some sort of featured um, product because it's just paper. But see, I think that adds a nice little dimension. Make sure I'm still in frame here. A nice little dimension, so. Okay, so let's double stick tape those on doesn't need a lot of double stick tape because there's not going to be a lot um, on these. This is really going to be kind of the feature because as you're going to see, the postcard itself is going to cover some of it. So um, let's see here. That's good enough. You'll see that I really just eyeball most of everything I do. Um, I don't see the point in making it perfectly center just doesn't really seem necessary to me, especially for these books. I think when things are um, layered and off kilter a little bit, I think it looks fun. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I do try to respond and answer them as much as possible because I know that sometimes I think I'm moving slow, but I'm, I may not be, so okay. So here is the base, and the plan is going to be to adhere with washi tape the postcard so that when you lift it, you see my kiddos with the hidden Mickey sunflowers. We're big sunflower fans. So, okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Get some good thick washi tape. I'm going to use this one. It looks like a ruler. I actually got this at Michael's. It was in like the little school section. Um, I don't know if they still have it because it was like a back to school situation. Oh, maybe I'll do it like this. So that way you could see, because look at how cute. There's her stamp that says Eliza Ryan and then she also made this stamp um, to put on there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it, let me move my book so I could get a better view here for you. 
you're going to put the washi tape on about half of the postcard. And that looks good. And make sure it's really on there. Let me get, I'm going to show you. I use my little crease maker. This is a crease maker. I don't know the technical term. Um, I also got it at Michael's. And I use it a lot for washi tape. Because washi tape doesn't always stick as well as you want it to. So I use it a lot to really make sure it sticks. So now that we've done that, you're going to get this part. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Um, and you're going to put it right on to the book. Right on to the end. Just line it right up. Let me see. I don't know that I did a great job, but I think it's fine. Right, good enough. So once you have it on there, just really kind of, there we go. Make sure it's on there well. And look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm also going to put more on this side. I think I'll use a pretty orange washi tape. Am I the only one that cannot find the washi tape end? Sorry about all these flakes on my hands. I was making magic memory books all morning and then I decided to make this YouTube, so. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put this washi tape like that. This is much easier because your postcard's already on there. You'll go to the back and you'll just Flip it right over. So you could see a little bit of that washi tape on the other side, which I think adds character to the next page you make. So see, it's totally not center and a little bit off kilter, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, there, so simple. You just add washi tape and all of a sudden you have this adorable little page. So now we need to add our picture. Um, I think that I'm gonna add it a little bit lower so that you can really see those characters. Um, I'm a little sad that it's going to cover Minnie there, but that's okay. Um, so there, just a little bit of double stick tape. Super simple. Just to make sure it really stays. And then I'm going to grab some washi tape to um, really make it pop and look cute. So, oh, I think that's way too much. So. Oh, still a lot. Look at me. I'm like washi tape crazy today. I'll use two different kinds. Here's another really pretty orange one. I love orange and yellow. They're such happy colors. So I'll just put it right there. And essentially, this page is about done. Unless we add some other stuff, which we may very well do. Um, because I just love, love, love the way that looks. So we can leave that for now because I haven't decided if I want to add anything else yet. And we can start on this side because it's blank. So let's start by putting Lizzie on there. Like I said, I just cut out, it's a regular photograph and I cut it out and I used this craft bond to put glue around the edges and then I added glitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add her right in the middle and you'll see that she's gonna kind of come off the end, but that's okay because we'll just, um, We'll just turn that after we're done. So this just put a little bit of tape on there. And I like that it looks a little off kilter. I think that's cute. So obviously there's a little bit left. So what we need to do is go right down here. Make sure you're not cutting your page. Because that wouldn't be cute. And I feel like it's a little uneven, but that's all right. And then once it's all down and you have that little bit there, add a little more tape just so it doesn't keep popping up. So um, I am going to also add this little sticker. It's also from Eliza Ryan Design. It's super 70s and I love it. She has $2 Tuesday sales and that's where I got this. And it's perfect because it's a matte sticker. And I think a matte paper sticker looks so much better when you scrapbook. So gonna put it right there because I am in love with it I just think it's so cute and I think it's super 70s and really matches with the theme of the page the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this mail from my friend Adriana at Rex Creativity she sent me a pen pal letter um, back in the mail and I thought that was so neat so that's the letter but she also, oh, she sent her sticker too. Um, I'm gonna put that, I 
put my stickers on my clear craft um, drawers. So she sent, it has all this, I don't know if you can tell, but like really cute little Tinkerbell confetti. So I thought, oh my gosh, I'm not throwing that away. That is too cute. So you know, actually I'm gonna trim this little bag. I have a little clear cello bag. I also add these little bags in your Magic Memory books many times. So you'll have this too. You can do the same little technique if you like it. But I thought I need to save all of that adorable confetti that she put in there that she clearly punched out by hand, put some work into. Little Tinker Bells in there. And then I'm also just gonna save the postage stamp. How cute is that? So that was from my friend. And I'm gonna put that in there just as a nice little memory. I think it looks, the bag's a little bit big, so I'm gonna fold it over a tiny bit so the bag looks a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna just use some washi tape. And I think I'm gonna put it right on there so that I always have it. I might even put it under this picture a little bit. So, how cute is that? You could even use a little double stick tape to make sure it stays. And then I think the other thing I'll do is add a little bit of washi tape. I wanna find a really cute one though, there we go. Um, to really make sure that it it stays and um, but yeah so you see I just kind of really love that I get to keep what she sent me in the mail that's sticking up let's there we go oh it's because there's air in there oh well um, so I just kind of love that now I have a little piece of what she sent me I think that's really nice if you want to add even another little um, layer you could add a little paper clip. I have these little gold paper clips. You know, let's add it here. That looks cute. So there, we have that. Now, I have this very vintage little envelope since it looks like we're definitely going with a postcard mail theme. Um, I have a, you know, from my friend. I have her stamp. We have a postcard. I have this extremely vintage little envelope that I got at an estate sale with a bunch of old cards. So I thought it would be fun to create like a little bookmark. I don't wanna lick that because heaven knows how old it is, but I'm, so I'm just gonna put some double stick tape. Um, my daughter let me borrow this adorable little stamp. It says Happy Mail. So I am going to use this stamp since we clearly have a little theme going here. And I am going to just stamp Happy Mail. I don't want it perfect. I want it a little askew. I am terrible at stamps, but... Oh, look! Oh, I did a good job! Yay, me! Um, so now, that little ephemera envelope is going to be put on here so that I can keep it forever because I love it so much. So let me find a little paper clip or a clip. Oh, look, here's this one's perfect. It's another little gold one. We'll put it right here. Could even just kind of be fit under, tuck those down. And there we go. I am absolutely loving, I don't need all that glitter, but I am absolutely loving the way this looks. I think I'm gonna put a little more washi tape up here. This is the time after when my page is done, I kind of look at it and think, okay, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna add? Um, I think it would be fun to add this little tape up here just for um, dimension. Let me find my little creaser. And then maybe some more even up here. This is one of my favorite washi tapes because it's like the airmail, um, the airmail envelopes that you used to get. Who, who remembers airmail? I used to have a friend who lived in the Philippines when I was growing up. So we would send each other letters and she would send them and the envelopes would be trimmed in that because it was airmail. And I will never forget that. Her name was Joy. And I would love getting mail from her because it would say airmail. And I remember thinking that was just way too cool. I wish I still had them because how special would that be? So, okay. I kind of love the way that looks. Every now and then I will go through and add something, but 
There's my postcard from Eliza Ryan Design. My little vintage envelope that I put to good use with Happy Mail on it. My picture of my girls little mouse ear sunflowers with my favorite sticker that I've been holding on to because I knew I was going to do a page eventually that was very 70s with my 70s musketeers. My um, little confetti that I received from my friend Rex Creativity. And that's it. I absolutely think it came out super fun. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow Eliza Ryan Design, especially if you're on our pen pal list because you will be getting one of these in the mail that I hope you scrapbook and you hope you that um, if you post it you tag us so thank you so much for tuning in I hope you loved it I hope you are inspired and so be sure to give us a follow Friday or Saturday we're going to be having another sale for magic memory books and it will be on our stories and I'm hoping to have at least 10 available so um, I hope that you will purchase one there and if not you can make one of your own so thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you loved everything you saw. Thanks, bye.